What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about the most underrated badges of season 1 and 2. This topic here is kinda subjective, so after watching the video, please let everyone know in the comment section what is your top 5. And try to check other comments as well, give it a like if you like their list. And just wanna make it clear, when I say underrated, I'm not saying that the badge is super good, it just means that I think it deserves more attention, praise, hype or whatever you wanna call it. So for the first one, Clutch Shooter. I think there's a common impression that you can only use it for like 1 or 2 shots a game, but not much players realize that you can really use it for a long time in a game. On park modes, you can start to activate the badge as long as the score is at least 15 and 8 before the shot, no matter what side you're on, as long as the margin is within 8. So roughly, that's like almost half of the game remaining. And on modes like Rec, from what I've heard is it activates as well on free throws, even not on the 4th quarter as well, and of course on regular shots, it's going to be the last minutes on the 4th quarter, so meaning you can really utilize the badge. As you can see here, score was 16 and 10, so we're behind by 6, and I was able to use it 3 times, could have been 4 to be honest if this game winner here was a 3. And on top of all those, I'm really positive that the badge boost is really big. Next one, put back boss. I think not much players are aware that the badge is not only boosting the actual putback dunk like you know the traditional putback dunk like where you catch it mid-air and throw it down it boosts the dunks off an offensive rebound as well like the ones you're seeing on the screen i know i don't have the stats to back it up but knowing that hands up contest is not good so far the badge always provokes me to take those shots straight away after the offensive rebound which activates the badge so it's really handy especially if you're not too conservative with your shots next one post playmaker badge I think not much players know that not every passes are covered by Dimer. That's why some people ignore this badge. They are not aware that if after an offensive rebound you kick it out to the open guy, that's not going to be covered by Dimer. That's going to be post playmaker badge. It will only activate Dimer if it takes you a while before you pass the ball. And if you passed while you're back down on the paint, that won't be covered by Dimer as well. That'll be post playmaker badge. That's why this is really an essential for big man builds you gotta have it at least bronze. So before we go to the next part, just wanna invite you guys to like the video if you're liking so far, and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos, and of course, subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. And after watching the video, would be really awesome if you guys can leave any feedback or your top five underrated badges. So now going back, next one, slippery off-ball badge. Given that it's a shooting badge, I think not much players realize that it's a jack of all trades badge, like you can use it as well on these kind of moves, and you can get open for alley-oops with this badge as well. And on top of all those, having silver as the sweet spot is always a good thing, meaning you don't need much upgrades to get the best out of the badge. The next one, drop stepper badge. Given that interior contest is not really good this year so far, investing and abusing drop stepper badge is a really good move this year, because once you get this animation here from the badge, it's going to be an easy basket. And on top of that, I think not much players realize that not much players don't have the post move lockdown badge, which is the counterpart of this badge, so meaning you can really capitalize on that. So that's my top 5 underrated badges, and again, please let everyone know in the comment section what is your top 5 underrated badges. So that's all for the video, if you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos, and don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.